Hello everybody, I am Asad Zaman Biswas. Today I like to discuss about few more about insert data from text box to database table plugin, right? So those who not yet visit my uh, first part, at, I mean part one of uh, this topic, I will request them to uh, visit that video. In that case, it will be easier for you to understand what ever I am talking about, right? So, <coughs> in this part two, what I like to do, I never like to let the enter the duplicate records inside the tables. So, what I like to do <coughs> before inserting inside this table any data, I like to check that data exists inside the table or not. If not, in that case, I will let that input to insert inside this table, otherwise not, right? So what I'll do, I will write here few more codes, right? So what are the codes? Mm -hmm, yes, I will here write first. Uh, a few SQL query that is select star from I'm sorry this table okay now what I'll do I will execute this query and keep the result inside this variable okay so r e s u l t okay so to execute this query what i'll do i will use a method of this class wpdv that is your uh, get underscore results right okay get underscore results and this method will execute query inside this variable okay and will keep the result inside the results variable okay so I will paste it here and will check now what the result we got right so I will use here printer function to see what is inside this variable to check uh, the few codes I wrote here is working properly or not that means I am uh, getting the data of the table or not, right? So I give you a result and let me write here exit, okay? Because right now I am not expecting to enter any data inside the way inside the table. So I will give you a refresh. And then I will click on update and then I will click on preview changes. Well, one thing you can do here, you can simply uh, give you a refresh. Same thing, I give you a refresh. We got the result or not let us click on submit button and check yes we got look we got all the information of my table right now what I'll do I'll take 
uh, each record one by one and we'll check first name and last name uh, with the input given by the user right so what i can do i will write here for each loop and we'll take one by one record from the result set and we'll compare the value of f name column and l name column with the inputs given by the user so what i'll do here this value of this variable will be uh, stored inside this variable that means value of this uh, variable result this variable is containing the result set and from this result set we will take each record and we will keep inside this variable results so before comparing i just like to see here we are getting the data of columns or not so what i will write here results and let me write down the name of the column right i can check only one that is sufficient i think and i can give here a break so that each value come in separate line right okay mm, and i can give here exit so up to this i will check so let us save it and and go to your output and give refresh continue okay now there is some error you cannot use object of type is to declare as array user in i am getting some error message so what what shall i will i used here array now it will be object so i will have to use this sign okay so let us remove this and let's check now result okay i will save it then we'll go to output we'll give refresh continue and let us check okay look we got the first thing that means it is working fine now right so what we will do now we will uh, check using this if statement right if statement let us do the checking okay avoid it remove it okay i will compare this with this okay so copy it and paste it here and i should uh, write these two lines uh, before your if statement so i will copy this to cut these two lines and will paste before if statement right so i will cut it and will i can paste it here okay it will be better uh, Okay. <coughs> and okay so if it is same i like to take here one variable and there is a flag and inside this variable by default i am keeping one and um, if this condition becomes true in that case i will keep inside this variable zero 
right so if we will execute this insert query if this condition is true that means if the content of this variable flag remain one in that case we will insert the input inside wp underscore user info table right so i can give you these brackets and if any case the value of flag variables becomes zero in that case we will display a message that is print you can write something here duplicate record is not allowed okay now let us check what the result we got from here so i will save it and we'll go to output we'll give refresh now continue button then let us check what the result we get okay now let us give the same data we entered before right so i wrote here this again okay and i will click on submit to check what happened okay let us see what happened okay, look we got this message duplicate record is not allowed now let us enter something uh, some uh, in some input which is not inside my table right so i wrote something like this and let me show you uh, this first name and last name is inside a table or not i click here browse and look uh, there is no record leaving these two right uh, this this two record leaving these two records there is no other records that means uh, this the input that we entered here is not available inside the table so let us click now and see it entered inside the table or not i click on submit button and let us check okay now let us go to the table and check click on browse look the data is inserted that means right now duplicate record is not allowed in our table 